I think it was overwhelming because we can physically see here at Kuomo'o in the beginning here at Leke Leke where the burial mounds of Liholiho's army have been repaired and reconstructed and respected um, and then we venture beyond and we go into Kuomo'o and see where the final resting place of Manono, Kekuokalani and their followers is overgrown and uh, covered with kiave and um, then we physically see that even in their death they were not given respected last rites. Um, I think that was extra hurtful to come and, and physically see the difference of the winning and losing side of this battle. In learning about Manono, we learned that this aloha she had for her husband, the aloha she had for her people, for her akua, um, came with Kuleana. And they came here knowing they were, were going to die. And um, what a huge change this battle and this, these acts had on Hawaii and our, our outlook, our, our road view. You know, uh, we need to know the fullness of our history, not just half and parts. And I think that's the, the purpose of our hula and sharing it this year. You know, I, like I tell the girls, Eola Kainoa O Manono, so that her name is not forgotten, so that Kuomo'o and what happened here is not forgotten.